I was trying to order the Insta360 Go 3, but it wasn't able to be delivered here from Amazon. So I found out that they actually have it in the Excite store here in Kuwait. So I need some steps anyway. So I'm walking out and I'm going to go pick it up and I see how that thing performs. So. By the way, I'm using a DJI iPhone Pocket 3 and I have an ND filter on. the original Insta360 Go. I like what it stood for. I like what the purpose, you know, having a little tiny camera that you can put on your chest or mount in various places and tight spots where you couldn't mount other types of action cameras like a GoPro and other cameras. The image quality was not at the greatest point and it's, it's probably got places it could go further even from this point. When you look at the case of the original Insta360 and the presentation of it compared to this, which I'm about to unbox now, it's gone a long way. So I gotta give props because because this setup could be a full vlogging setup if that's what you want to use it for. I'm excited to try this out. So today I'm just going to do an unboxing and uh, give you my thoughts on this camera. So inside the box, you have the Insta360 Go 3 camera, as well as the action pod. You have a charge cable, you have a start guide, you have the magnet pendant, you have the pivot stand, and you have the easy clip. So, so here's the new one. Here's the, here's the original Insta360 Go. It has this nice little flip up screen. So you can do a selfie mode if you want to do some vlogging. The fact is you can still use it while it's still in the pod, or you can take it out and use it separately. It has a little button on the side. You just put your button down and pull it out. And then you got a small little camera. Just for comparison, here's the original Insta360 Go and here's the Insta360 Go 3. So slightly bigger, which is good for battery life because it says that it should last up to 45 minutes outside of the pod, which is a, that's a pretty good amount of time, you know, to get some footage. Here's the little pendant that comes under the shirt and it's nice because it kind of tucks away. So it's kind of hidden, but then you can unravel it and bam, you got it. And then you... it's got a little button on the inside. Start recording and just get your POV shots. It's got this little slanted piece here that you can put underneath to make it kind of either space up a little bit so you can get more uh, of an upper angle or if you want to get more of a lower angle, just depending on how you want the footage to look. The nice thing about this camera is that even when it's separate, you can still see the display. So if you want to frame up your shots and make sure that you got everything in focus and or in the proper framing or you know the exposure is right or whatever, you can do that from a distance. So that's pretty nice. When it's in the pod, you're supposed to get a little bit better battery life. So it's supposed to get up to an hour and 70 minutes. I think I just made that up, I ain't gonna lie. So some of the features, if I'm looking at the box here, it's 2.7K for video, it's not 4K, which it's unfortunate, but 
for this little form factor and what you're probably gonna use it for, I think it's okay. It's got the flow state stabilization. It's got a horizon lock. Waterproof up to five meters. Now that's only applying to the actual camera body. The pod is just splash proof. And it also says that it has some voice controls. So, and then you can put this on your hat. Get a POV shot from the top angle. Also comes with this little magnetic mod right here. Didn't come with the little tripod, but I got this little Ulanzi tripod and it's a magnet. So, the good thing is you can use the camera separately or you can put the pod in there as well. Either way, if you wanna use it for vlogging with the big body and you can see yourself with the camera or if you're out in the water or something like that and you wanna just put the body on there, you can just uh, use the same bracket for that. So, this is a pretty nice mount too. So now I'm recording with the Insta360 Go. I just wanted to show, uh, uh, I just wanted to show that this is not even, not even close to the power of the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. It's not supposed to be. It doesn't even shoot in 4K. It's capped out at 2.7K. By the way, how's the audio coming from this camera? But anyways, the purpose of this is not to replace any of the other cameras that I have. Definitely not going to replace my A7S3 or my ZV-E1. It's not going to replace the, the DJI Osmo Pocket 3. A few things that have over those cameras is the water resistance is splash proof and the small compact size so being able to get different kinds of shots can make a more complete travel video and that's why I got this I'm a little overdue for an action camera and I figured why not let's try this one see how much they upgraded the insta 360 go so yeah back to the, the real camera Yoo! so from my little bit of from what I could see indoors wise the the video is not really good. The, the low light's not really that good. So having this tiny sensor, uh, you can't expect very much from the low light. I think with some proper lighting, indoor will be fine, but the outdoors is really where you're gonna shine at. This thing uh, is gonna be very portable, especially with that pendant. So I'm gonna show you as I end this video, some of my outdoor footage that I got. Just walking around real quick. I just drew on the pendant and put the little action camera on it and walked around just to kind of show you how this video footage might look. Now I haven't tested out all the different modes and everything. I might do a separate video and try to show you guys the different modes in there, test out the time lapse, slow motion. They have a bunch of different modes that I'm really excited to try out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was just an unboxing and my initial thoughts, kind of telling you guys why I got this camera. If you want to see my review and going over some of the features of this camera, make sure you subscribe for that content and I'll see you guys on the next video. So right now, I just got the little action camera body by itself. And I wanna see how this is uh, as a vlogging camera. So I can't see the screen. I can't see anything. So I'm not sure exactly how wide this is. I'm charging the body right now, so. But I still want to go out. But I still got some good light out to see how this looks in the daylight. So you have seen some of the footage from this. What do you guys think? I'm gonna go take a look at it and I'll let you know what I think.